Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really unique telephone and this is uh, Tom's telephone from New York. And what this telephone is is a GPO and it's better known as like the uh, 300 series and uh, they're British post office telephones uh, and this one on the handset has a P and T which would probably refer to uh, the Irish post office but uh, there was different various uh, things that went on with these telephones uh, there was also around the same period a lot of remakes of these telephones just for the simple fact that they were very sought after and um, this telephone here is a, uh, a GPO and you can see that on a GPO they have uh, on the base of the telephone and here's some pieces of a screw and I'll explain that to you later we actually had to uh, on this base the screw was frozen into uh, the base of the telephone and so we actually had to cut that off to, to uh, get into the telephone but uh, the remakes of these telephones will not have these holes in the base like this one does and uh, there's a number here I can barely read it but it says P and T and it looks like H45 and then maybe MK52 something I'll know a little more about it this is just the initial checkout now on these telephones some of them had a drawer here and that was on the bottom of the phone I have the the phone apart but this little drawer would pull out and it was called a note drawer but we have a, a schematic here and it's a 332 so uh, it is a GPO uh, general post office telephone in the 300 series and they also had stainless steel uh, finger wheels and this is the number card that was in this one and uh, Tom has requested that that number card stay with the phone which is a good ideal uh, there would be no reason to change it and it's really cool that it's there so anyway, I'm going to give you a look at this telephone. Um, on the line cord here, it's, it's pretty cool the way this line cord is designed. And this is the way they plugged them in to their equipment there. So look how heavy duty that is. Uh, looks like something off a Frankenstein movie. <laughs> but uh, what this uh, cord is known as is a laced loom and uh, that's what you would refer to a cord that's uh, woven like this so it's a it's called a laced loom and that's the line cord so it's a pretty cool telephone it's unique you won't see a lot of these they're around but uh, you don't see see them every day and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some things here now what they have here is P and T 606 and then to turn it over they got uh, ATM but this is the handset on it and uh, just a really cool telephone just very unique very cool and um, let me take the body away from the phone and this is what we have inside we have our rotary here and it turns a little slow. Let me show you that real quick. Now these are going to make a little bit of a noise anyway, but as you can see, this dial is not dialing properly. It's a little slow, but even after we go through it, and adjust it and oil it it is a different design 
than what we're used to uh, in the United States. And that kind of gives you a little look at that. And I don't know if you can see it on the video, probably not. But in the center of this, this dial, in the design of it, it says A1. That sounds pretty familiar, like A1 telephone. Uh, somebody was happy enough to put their initials in here. It looks like JS. So that might have been whoever was working on this telephone as it went down the line. They're probably pretty proud of their work, and they put their initials in a telephone that they built. And that's pretty cool, because that's all things left over from the past. And uh, it's just unique to open something up and see that. And so now we, uh, we kind of want to get into, this would be your hook switch here. And then I'll turn this over. And this gives you a look at the inside. And on a, um, an original GPO 300 series telephone, they, uh, you know, sometimes they had a square cap in them, but uh, usually this is the coil, the cap's over here, but uh, sometimes this was a square cap. And sometimes they would write on them GPO and things like that. We've had some of these in the shop in the past. I've worked on them before. But you won't see a lot of these, so it's a very unique phone. But another thing that you can tell uh, about a, a remake or, an, uh, you know, whether it's an original or not, the bells will always have 2 and 2A on them. And that will indicate that uh, it's, a, it's an original GPO. And uh, also these holes that you see in this base plate, now on the remakes you won't find those holes. And also this one says right here on the schematic, it's going to be very hard to read because I can barely read it. So I'm sure the video is not picking it up. But it says number 332. And that was a good number for an original GPO telephone. So it's a very cool piece of the past. Um, what we're going to do with this telephone is I'm going to go ahead and go through this rotary here. I'm going to get that straightened out. We're going to install a new modular port inside this telephone so that we can, uh, so Tom can just walk up to any regular uh, phone line and plug it in. Get this back together here a little bit. We're going to return his cord to him, even though I'm going to take it uh, apart and take it off the phone. We're going to uh, return this to him. And another thing that the 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 you know in an original GPO, they never made a brass finger wheel or any other kind of finger wheel. They were always stainless steel. So uh, that was one indication. That, uh, that it's a GPO and an original, along with the 332 here on the schematic. And we do know that uh, a relation to Ireland would be P and T. They would scratch in their own number, P and T 606. And uh, that's probably has a, some association with the Irish Post Office. But uh, there was a lot of these telephones out there um, various little uh, differences in them. Uh, some of them even had a button right here. But um, it's a really cool telephone. And I kind of wanted to give you a, a good look at it uh, on this initial checkout. And we'll do another video on it as soon as we get further into the repair. But we're probably going to have to go through everything on this phone. We're probably going to have to go through the handset, we're going to go through the handset cord. I'm going to try to save this original cord if I can. Uh, I, I would like to save this laced loomed cord. Uh, it's, even though it looks a little tattered, it's probably in good shape. But I'll tell you something that you won't see a lot. You won't see this cord and you won't see this plug. And the reason being is 
people would cut these off because they couldn't use them. So they would cut them off and this would end up in the trash. So it's just kind of pretty rare just to see this, this loomed, lace loomed cord and this plug here. So that, that's pretty rare in itself just for that simple fact that they would get parted from the phone. People would cut them off and uh, you wouldn't see them again. They'd throw them away. We're also uh, going to go through the rotary on this telephone. We have to go through the bell circuit. If you can see the bells down here. And we are going to try to do something for Tom on his feet. Now he's got a couple of good feet here but this one uh, over time has taken some abuse and it's kind of melded into the bottom of the phone and so is this one. So we're going to try to replace all four of them or just these two. I don't think this plate I think the plate will rock a little bit if now it might be okay. It may be just fine. And we'll talk to Tom. He he may not want those feet replaced, but I'm sure he'll let us know and we'll just have to go from there. We might have to try to do some damage control here on uh, some of this uh rust here. You could oil it or you could paint it maybe. But I didn't want to get too much into the painting because you can still kind of see what's going on here if you look at it right in the light. I can still read some of the writing here which is pretty cool because somebody's already painted over it at one point. And that might be what ate these feet. Sometimes when you put um, two materials together that uh, chemically have an imbalance, what it'll do is it'll kind of like melt rubber or plastic and so that'll be a problem. Uh, we also wanted to talk to you about where that screw we had to cut off is here in the front and it's right up here in this corner and basically what we need to do is uh, I'm going to try to tap this screw out. I'm going to have to drill into it and tap it out because what they have here is fittings that act like a nut and they're drawn up into the body of the phone and they're, they, they're secure and that's what your screws, uh, stabilize your screws when, they, when you screw them in. So it's just a really cool find. It, it's neat to see this telephone and uh, anything that we take off of this phone we are going to definitely make sure that Tom gets it back because uh, you want to keep all this kind of stuff with it and that's just a really cool cord and it's kind of unique just to even see that with it. And usually they're gone like I mentioned earlier. So this gives you a look at an original GPO, General Post Office Telephone, and uh, probably has an affiliation. Now the ATM in the handset is usually uh, means that it has something to do with Helsby. And so, because um, it says right here, ATM and that that usually means Hellsby and um, so it's just a really cool piece of the past and it's uh, not even of this country so you know it's just really cool to see their design and uh, you know some of the really cool things that they were making and uh, it's just neat to look back in the past here we're gonna get this telephone working for Tom and he's gonna be able to use it and uh, that's going to be neat. He'll have a lot of fun with this telephone, I'm sure. So this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. And you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. want to give you a last look at that uh, dial center ring. And basically it just says your number is, and then it goes 971923. Lift the receiver, listen for dial tone, then dial. But there is a sticker. Uh, this is the sticker. There's a plastic center card here. But what has this writing on it is actually a sticker that was over 
another dial center ring, but they're stuck together, so there's not too much you can do about that. And you know, it's best just left alone, and and we're going to do that. So, just a very cool telephone. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.